Scorpio, Scorpio couples, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela and this reading may be for you, Scorpio, if you have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, your Venus sign, or you happen to be cross-watching for Scorpio. Welcome to my channel, Scorpio. Let's get into this. Let's see what's coming in for this point in time for the Scorpio singles. I'm sorry. Scorpio couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's coming in for the Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, I want you guys to keep in mind. This is general. So what comes across in this reading may not be exactly what's going on right now. So I invite you to take the video. The I invite you to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You may get more clarity there on your situation. Yeah, And just know that the energies can be interchangeable. If it's not you playing something out in the scenario, of course, it could be somebody else. If you find that it doesn't resonate at all, yeah, you can check out the sun, moon, rising. I think I said that already. Let's get into it. Scorpio. Yeah, you may be... You may have a lot on your plate right now. You may be taking on a full load. I do feel that there's just going to be some progress in your life in some area. And I feel like you're going to be sharing your vision with like-minded people. Um, and you might be feeling like you're working a lot of hours lately. Yeah, you may be in need of some type of emotional support, Scorpio. And you might be having a lot of negative thoughts circulating in your head and spirit is definitely encouraging you to follow your passion to manifest the type of life that you want this is definitely the time for you to believe in yourself and to listen to your heart yeah i feel like there could be a taurus for some of you in your environment and um you could be getting a lot of uh, you could be getting some momentum online possibly scorpio you might be getting more um attention on your social media page something may be going on on social media for some of you you could be dealing with somebody in social media there could be news of pregnancy around you, you could definitely be traveling and going on vacation scorpio i strongly feel that there's going to be some type of harvest coming in for you you're about to see a return on your investment in some place in your life but right now it looks to me that things are coming unglued when it comes to your relationship right now and you may find yourself in separation and there may be some changes that may need to be made yeah so that brings me to the overall energy of your reading which is talking about retreating into solitude because one of you is waiting for the other one to make the first move in this situation or you guys may be distant from another one another separate from one another and um It may be time to look at the bigger picture. You might be looking at the minute details, but you might be considering looking at the big picture of a situation. Looking at what's really causing a rift between the two of you. And it looks like someone may need to come forward to express some type of truth that maybe they've been withholding. That's what this is about. Okay, yeah. There could definitely be pregnancy surrounding you, Scorpio. There could be a mother figure that's significant in your life. Maybe a baby's mom, someone that you co-parent children with. I feel that, yeah, I see a water sign. Yeah, you might be feeling that your partner is not going to give you another chance. If this pregnancy has something to do with outside, with with something that may have occurred outside of this this connection, this relationship, yeah, that might be why you're you're feeling that, that there's no no coming back from this. Yeah, that brings me to the crossing energy, letting go. Someone has not been able to let go of something. Something has been a point of contention in this relationship for quite some time to the point that someone is saying, I, I don't know if I can let go of this. I don't know if I can release this. Okay, you're definitely making a choice. There's a choice that you're faced with. Some of you Scorpios or someone significant to your life 
could be making a choice about a pregnancy, about whether or not to move forward with a pregnancy. Could be having issues with cash flow. Yeah, I feel that there's a relationship that you want to fix. You may want to recover a relationship with your own mother. Or as I stated, possibly with the, with someone that you co-parent children with. It's like there, you, you want some type of burden lifted off of you, Scorpio. Maybe having to do with a Libra. And you might be feeling disappointed, maybe a bit remorseful about something that may have taken place in this relationship. You might be feeling that things are not progressing, things are not changing, they're not moving forward. Let's see why this is. Scorpio. Okay, some of you could be dealing with an air sign. We have Libra here. You may have Libra in your chart. You may be dealing with a Libra. Your baby's mother may be a Libra. Your mom may be a Libra. Someone significant to the situation. All right, you feel like you blew it. You feel like you may have blown it with a fire sign that that's done. And right now you're feeling overly emotional and maybe you feel the need to self-protect self by being cold and putting up a hard exterior because maybe there's some things that you're not sure about, Scorpio. So you're saying, until I'm sure about what it is that I wanna do, I'm just gonna put up this very cold front. I'm gonna be very hard to read and I'm gonna be very stubborn and I'm gonna be stuck in my ways. I'm not gonna budge. You may not be having any inner peace about the situation, but part of you is considering being single from this relationship because you feel like this 10 of cups that once was Something in this scenario where things were really good and, and and wholesome and beautiful between the two of you at some point, right? You're feeling like that's over, that's done. There could have been issues with flirtation. There could have been issues with impulse issues in this connection. You're finding a way to keep it together and, and try to stay happy even though you feel that your partner is just not gonna really let you back into their energy. You feel like they're not gonna give you another chance in this connection because there has been some betrayal that may have taken place. And I feel like someone got caught in their lies. <laughs> someone was disloyal. I'm, see, I'm feeling that there's someone that kind of runs from this connection, is rebellious against commitment and somebody that's not willing to settle down. It could be this earth sign, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And you may be questioning the future between the two of you at this time, and there could be a lot of frustration and conflict. And someone that's not willing to bend or change. You're not sure if you wanna to continue to hang in there and work on this situation because you're tired of fighting. And you're feeling quite emotionally drained and you just wanna get back on happy terms. You have this Ace of Cups and we're gonna find out who you're giving this Ace of Cups to. Who are you giving this Ace of Cups to, for Scorpio? Is this your partner? Is this somebody else? Yeah, you wanna reunite with somebody. Who are you reuniting with? The mother of your child, possibly. Yeah, you feel a bit disappointed with the way that things have been going. And you're feeling that, that there's no real success that's gonna come out of this situation. But yeah, you may be ready to leave. It looks like you're ready to leave a situation, to rekindle a situation with someone else. There's someone that you wanna make amends with. But it's like you, you're you saying, that's the right decision for me to make, that's the right move for me to make, but I don't have the clarity that I need to remove myself from this situation, from to remove myself from being so antisocial because there's someone that you've been completely cut off with you're you definitely separated yourself from this individual's energy it looks like you guys may come back together and come to the drawing board scorpio but i'm saying that, that, that there was there's been some things that that were said that were very painful and hard to forget and yeah things were once beautiful between the two of you but now yeah you are contemplating the single life and you might be doing things in secret that your partner doesn't know about, which could have ended up in a pregnancy. You might be feeling a bit stuck in your situations. 
in your situation, in your circumstances is what I was trying to say. And yeah, this two of cups, you're feeling that something has been ruined, possibly due to an unexpected pregnancy. You're feeling a bit confused about what the future holds and you may not feel that you have closure with someone and you're wanting to start again. There's someone that you haven't moved on from, Scorpio, and this would be the person that you're wanting to settle down with. You feel like you, you've put in enough energy and effort in this relationship and you feel like one of you feels that the other one is not. You're not really feeling that things have been going your way in this, in this situation. You're not really wanting things to end, but you're wanting to do the right situation having to do with someone you co-parent children with or a mother figure. There is an ex somewhere in the picture that you're feeling like it's time to release your energy from, but yeah, you might be reflecting on that old situation and you might be feeling a certain way about it. You might be having mixed emotions about an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you might be having mixed emotion about. This would have been someone from your past, someone that you still think about. This person still crosses your mind. And you might be thinking about going towards perhaps this Gemini individual that you may have left in the past. You may have, have been forced to leave this situation because of some truth that came out about someone being a player. Right now, you and your partner might be living as roommates and there might not really be a lot of passion and closeness between the two of you at this time. But Scorpio, I feel like something has you feeling like you're not yourself. And you may have, you may feel that you're blocked or cut off from someone, possibly a Leo. Mm -hmm. You got the sun clarifying the king of wands. So for some of you, this is a Leo individual that you're cut off from. You could have... Leo in your chart. You could have fire in your chart, Scorpio. Yeah, you're saying, I don't want to struggle with this situation. I want to fix something. I want to heal something because something has you feeling quite emotional. You're feeling hurt or you may feel remorseful with someone that you hurt, possibly an Aquarius or a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It looks like you have a decision to make but, um amongst multiple people this queen of swords could definitely be an aquarius yeah you may have a decision to make between an aquarius and a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio that you may be choosing from and you're trying to find the courage to decide your future with this decide who you want to spend your time with and it looks like you may be taking some time away from your partner right now to contemplate this decision and figure out if it's time to make the first move. Spirit is definitely encouraging you to trust your gut feeling when, with this Ace of Pentacles because it looks like there is a new beginning. There's a new start on the horizon. There's someone that you want to release this time of fighting and conflict with. It's possibly a Virgo individual. Where you're saying, I don't want to fight anymore. I, I I don't have any clarity right now because I feel blocked from your energy. And somebody is deliberately blocking you from their energy. Out of pride. Not giving you clarity because this may serve some type of ego purpose for this person. They may feel gratified with having people fight over them or... This is just somebody, like I said, that doesn't really want to be committed, doesn't want to be tied down, doesn't want any titles. They may be very wishy-washy with their feelings. One minute they love you, the next minute they're cold toward you. There's two offers on the table. I feel like there's two people. Trust your gut feeling. If you suspect that something is going on, something's not right, Scorpio, you're absolutely, you're very likely right. You may have gone through this situation, these circumstances similar to this person, similar with this person before. Maybe having to do, like I said, with a Leo, a Leo could be very significant to the situation. Yeah, somebody is, is contemplating making the right choice. You might be feeling a bit confused about who the right choice is, what, the right path is but someone wants to make amends and is having a diff yes yeah, having a difficult time letting go it would be letting go of a past person or a past event 
past situation. I feel like it's a person, past person, uh, someone that they co-parent children with. It might even be you. You got because I'm seeing two different storylines. I strongly feel that somebody wants to leave, or if they did leave, I see them coming back to the picture. It looks like it's going to require some type of patience for things to maybe get some type of traction or movement. But yeah, somebody's definitely clinging to the past and feel that the other one is completely locking the other one out of their life. Not really give them, giving them any answers, not giving them any clarity, leaving them with these blurred lines and just not feeling just feeling off balance, feeling off base about the situation and leaving a whole bunch of question marks in their brain about what to think. Cross watcher, let's pick up the cross watcher's energy and see how the cross watcher might be feeling about you at this time, Scorpio. They feel that there's been some type of a delay. Okay, and there would definitely be a Gemini in the picture. They may feel, they may wonder if you blocked a Gemini. Did you block the Gemini? Okay, they feel like, yeah. Communication between the two of you is very limited. They may want this closeness. Or the two of you may have been very close and very intimate at some time, but it looks like, yeah, someone is retreating, pulling away. It's like someone is trying to, your, your partner is trying to decipher the illusions from the truth. They may want to work on it. They may have this surge of energy to do so. There's a father figure here. So this is absolutely someone that you co-parent children with. It could be, it could be Scorpio that you may have children with this person that you're in a relationship with. You may have children outside of this connection as well. You know, someone may be getting visions through their dreams. Crosswatcher, you may be a bit concerned about your intuition. You may be a bit leery of your intuition. I feel like the vitality is gone out of this connection and you are feeling a bit hopeless about salvaging something. Feeling very confused at this time in a state of deep contemplation and a, a state of sorrow about something that took place. Feeling that you don't have the wisdom to make the right decision. And this could have been a very codependent relationship that you're having a very difficult time breaking away from. You are looking for clarity, but your, your, your senses are definitely in full effect. You recognize that your partner is covering something else. And yes, you are trusting your gut feeling. You do want harmony. You are hoping for some type of success to come out of this situation. Scorpio. Maybe having to do with an Aquarius. I don't know. You're very concerned about stability. I don't know. Concerned about whether or not something is stable. You're questioning whether or not something is stable. Okay, what is it that you're questioning would be stable? Yep, once again, here's your Aquarius. All right. Your partner is, is recognizing that you're retreating. You're pulling away. Communication between the two of you is limited. And you want this person to interact with you. You want to have a dialogue. You want to have a, an honest conversation. You want to know whether or not the two of you are on the same page. Are you both going to put forth a concerted effort in this relationship? Or is it done? You want a definitive answer about this. You felt like there was a strong connection between the two of you. But lately, maybe you feel that you guys have been at war. And you're not sure if you want to really give your all in this situation anymore because your cross watcher is feeling like you're lying about something. They know that the truth is going to come to the light and they may be communicating with you to get that truth. They're, they're definitely listening between the lines, picking up on some clues um, to try to figure out what's really going on. They know that you're up to something and that you're not being completely honest and they may be having some mixed emotions about how to fix this or whether or not they want to stay or go. 
their heart wants to work on this, but at the same time, they're saying, logically, I don't know if I see a future in this situation. And we need to talk about things to get back to this 10 of cups. They're saying, I want to fix this. Let's, let's fix the problems in this relationship. And they may recognize that there are three people or that's something that they're suspicious about. And they want to clear things up so that the two of you can get back to a better place. They're saying, let's work on this. Let's work on the issues in this relationship. And let's make a final decision. Because your cross watcher is saying, I'm not happy with the way that things have been going. Saying, I love you. I thought we were building. I thought we were making something real out of this. But instead, I'm feeling heartbroken. I'm feeling hurt by what it is that's going on and I want us to move past the situation. They're feeling confused, still wanting to fight for this connection and they're not wanting this separation. They're feeling rather vulnerable. They're saying, I don't have the clarity I need and I'm losing hope in this situation. I'm growing impatient to find out the answers, to find out where we stand because lately things have been cloudy and confusing between the two of you and they don't like that feeling. They recognize that maybe you've been they, that you've been acting single when you're really not. They may there may have been an incident where they acted out of character and they're not sure if they they're still holding on to you. That this is not what they envision for this relationship. They want to get things on stable ground, but yeah, they are feeling confused. And they're not sure if um if they do feel like they're tired of validating themselves to you, all the reasons why you should love them and should appreciate them. They haven't been able to move on from something in this situation between the two of you. And it has something to do with a pregnancy or a baby's mother. And they feel that you're kind of wrapped up in that situation and feeling rather down about it. They recognize that your demeanor changed. They're afraid to listen to their intuition because they're not wanting to be hurt. They're wanting to find peace in this situation. And they're kind of waiting for you to make the first move. They feel like things are falling apart. They're saying, let's rebuild, let's start over with this Ace of Pentacles. Let's make things right, possibly with a Libra. Somebody wants to restore something with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This King of Pentacles wants to restore something with a water sign. King of Pentacles, again, could be this Virgo individual. Yeah, they're saying, I don't want the mystery to remain. I want, I want to see if this relationship has the courage to start again, but they don't really feel like it, like there is because they feel that you're so cold and they can't read you. And they just really don't understand. They're feeling un so. So to sum this up, they're feeling rather. They're feeling hurt. They're feeling confused. They're saying, "Can we fix this? I don't want things to be the way that they've been. Can we rebuild from this? Can we come back from this whole situation? The way that things have been. Can we recover from the hit that this relationship has taken?" One of you may want the same thing. The other one is not sure. The other one is just really not taking this relationship seriously, says the other one, or is the perception of the other person. So it looks like, yeah, that's the overall energy. You're definitely retreating. You're going into solitude. Or you feel like one of you is, and the other one of you is trying to figure out what happened. What did I do? Right. They're not sure. So let's see how this might play out. Trust your gut feeling is what the advice is in the situation from spirit or what the overall energy being retreating. Yeah, you may need to do that for a moment to figure out how this plays out and what the next chapter holds between the two of you. Yeah, someone may be considering moving out. The other one is having a very difficult time letting go and dealing with that idea. 
You may be deciding to be patient. There's some type of barrier keeping you guys apart. And it looks to me that your perseverance could definitely be a strong suit of yours. Yeah, somebody's moving. You guys might be moving. Temptation may have led somebody astray. Yes, absolutely. And somebody wants to come back. So that's what this whole situation is about, right? There's someone is tempted. There's definitely some type of temptation surrounding a mother figure. Maybe somebody, like I said, that they co-parent children with. And uh, somebody's trying to figure out where they really want to be and spend their time not really wanting to come forth and say something because they, someone hasn't made a, a firm decision on it. So they're kind of avoiding saying what they really want to do, kind of skirting around the issue. Yes, again, listen to your gut feeling. When it comes to this situation, somebody's not being honest, not being forthright. Your intuition is telling you, but it's like you're afraid to listen to your intuition Intuition because you're, you're saying, what if my intuition is wrong? You do want to improve the health of this relationship. Or this could be that your own health that could be at stake, could be at risk. Yeah, meditation could be very beneficial for you. Yeah, you're definitely trying to make a decision. Yeah, it looks like you may choose a new direction and do what? I'm saying don't stop when it comes to your career and your pursuits. It looks like you are going to be bold and make the best first move. Yes, because Spirit is saying you're ready. Looks like this retreat into solitude is definitely going to be bring you some type of answer or clarity where you feel that there is none right now. So what is this yes about? Yes, you're ready, says the universe, with something that you want to do. There may be something that you want to pursue, Scorpio, but you may be comparing yourself to other people. And Spirit is saying it's time to let go of that. And let go of that self-doubt. Yeah, because opportunity awaits you. And what this new opportunity brings in abundance, you might feel that something is unlikely to improve. So yeah, you might feel that something is unlikely. So you might be asking for help from other people before you take action. You may be getting some advice from other people. And it looks like in the final outcome, there may be forgiveness that takes place with or without this person, Scorpio. But it looks like somebody has to be, to, to be bold and make the first move in this situation. What's the possible outcome to the situation, Holy Spirit? possible outcome for Scorpio couples what is the possible outcome retreat that's the overall energy talking about retreat because you're saying I love myself I, I need to spend some time with myself and my children yeah there is true love somewhere possibly true love with your children with your children you're going to express your love to the one that you want to be with and you're going to be freeing yourself from the person that you don't want to be with there's definitely a choice that's being made here and it looks like you're going to make a decision to commit yourself or someone has been running from commitment this whole time somebody may decide to settle down free themselves from that bachelor life where there's been nothing but confusion and no real answers and no real certainty and Somebody might be tired of roaming around. Maybe, maybe not in your situation. What could remedy the situation, Holy Spirit? What could make the situation better for these couples? For Scorpio couples, Holy Spirit. What could make the situation better for Scorpio? Possible solution to the situation for Scorpio. Luck is on your side. Yeah, so again, meditate and contemplate. Take some time away. Retreat, right, is the overall energy. Go into solitude. Retreat from the energy of other people around you. Retreat from looking for the answers externally. This, is, this includes asking for help from other people. Spirit is saying the answer is right here in your heart, within you. 
You don't have to look externally or outside of yourself for any answer. Surrender your desire to control people. Surrender to joy. Surrender your addictions. Yeah. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Again, why the overall energy is retreating to solitude, pulling away to hear your own voice, your own intuition. You can't do anything about this other person's energy and what they choose to do with their energy or their time or their clarity. Spirit is saying, don't worry about that. Work on you. Stay in a high vibration. You don't need to necessarily be knocked off your knocked off of center because someone is not sure what they want. Yeah. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Yeah. Relationships do have ups and downs. The spirit is saying that what happens externally from you does not need to take away from your joy and your happiness. While you're working on that, Spirit is saying there may be some addictions that you may need to surrender that would definitely lift a burden off your shoulders and help you to tune into your intuition. Yeah? It says whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Someone in your scenario may have found a way of coping using their vices and using their um, addictions. Spirit is saying, maybe time to let go of that crutch and deal with the problem at hand and stop masking the issue. Stop dancing around the issue. Using addictions, it may be time to process your feelings and your emotions and it may be very therapeutic with you doing so by going out in nature, right? And getting alone opening that crown chakra so that you can get the downloads from your spirit guides, from the divine, to get through this period of time that may be difficult for you, where you may be having a difficult time letting go of whatever it is, if it's a person, if it's an addiction, whatever it is. Spirit is saying stay in a, state, a positive state of mind, a positive frame of mind, you surrender to joy. So with that, Scorpio, this concludes your general reading with angelic ascensions if you'd like to book a personal you can head over to my website angelic ascensions tarot.com and if you found that it helped feel free to leave a comment below consider subscribing if you already haven't and leave a thumbs up thanks guys for watching thank you very much peace guys i'll see you guys in the next video